what's up with this open cabinet? I've just filmed this whole video. This cabinet was open the whole time. Don't judge me. We're organized, right? I didn't even look behind me. Such an amateur. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am in a quick rush today because I have to go pick up Patrick from school pretty soon, but I wanted to just check in and update you guys as to where things are following my fifth miscarriage last week and our appointment at the clinic specializing in helping people like me whose uteruses hate them. We had our appointment in Zurich um, at the Recurring Miscarriage Clinic. I'm sure it has a much more medical name, but that's what I call it, because it's easy to remember. And we met with a fantastic doctor there, and really it was just an information um, session to say, this is where we are, get my whole history, this is what we can do next, this is what insurance covers and what it doesn't cover. I miss you. Basically, I am going to get a bunch of blood tests done next week, and I'm gonna have this super fun procedure, if you've had a few miscarriages, you might be familiar with it, where they put the little ultrasound wand up inside, and then they blast a bunch of water in there to expand your uterus like a balloon. This sounds like a pizza party. Sounds awesome. They expand your uterus like a balloon, so that it kind of gets rid of all the creases and stuff and they can look around for polyps and other suspect stuff that might be terminating or causing your pregnancy to terminate. So I'm gonna get all that done next week and then from there we take a look at the results of those tests. The blood work will be looking for things like, I think like thrombosis and clotting, also for um, any kind of thyroid, inactive, overactive thyroid stuff and testing me for lupus which is something I hadn't thought about, but after doing some research, I guess could be a thing. And I gotta say, I've been super tired a lot lately. So I'm probably like wrongly diagnosing myself, but I'm interested to see what that comes back with. And geez, that's gonna be a whole new fun pot of challenge if, uh, if I do have lupus. I doubt I have lupus, let's be honest. So we'll do all that and then we look at if we want to do genetic testing, which will test a bunch of stuff with Andy and a bunch of stuff with me, but that is something that insurance in Switzerland sadly does not cover. So we have to look into whether or not our insurance company will throw us a bone or if we're gonna have to open up our wallets and shell out money for that. That's where the appointment ended. Um, I go, like I say, I go back next week and we'll see what happens from there. In the meantime, the last week has been pretty shit, if I'm honest. I've been super, super blue. And one of those where I'm like trying to pet myself up but nothing's working, getting really low, like questioning, why are we living here? Let's go back to the United States, let's go back to the UK. It, it just, the way it works with me is if something gets me down, which in this case it's the miscarriages, it just snowballs into like everything in my life. Does anybody else have that? It's like, I can't just be sad about one thing. I gotta pick everything that's making me unhappy and just become such a sad Mac. I had a crazy meltdown in my car at Patrick's school in the parking lot um, last week and it was not pretty. It was on the way to the clinic actually, so I think I had some anxiety around this appointment and it just wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. We have our appointment this morning. I just had like, Patrick was a little fussy this morning, which you know that happens from time to time, but like just right now, like one thing goes wrong and everything emotionally like comes crashing down on me. This just isn't the person I am. This is, I said yesterday, like we're dealing with things fine and we are, but I think sometimes it just really catches up with me. It's just a lot. I'm just, I don't know, emotionally I'm taking on a lot right now. I need to get to our doctor's appointment. They're gonna think I'm crazy because I'm gonna walk in and I'm already gonna be like swollen and puffy from crying. They're gonna think I'm a right basket case. Which I don't think I am, but I just have had a really rough morning. It's been a rough morning. Can't just show you the funny haha -ha stuff. This has been a shit morning. But you know what? Onwards and upwards. I have started looking at adoption stuff. And I think that's been a sad thing for me too, which it shouldn't be. Like adopting would be so awesome, but I think by looking into it, it's my way of acknowledging to myself that carrying another baby might not be possible and we have to look into plan B, which again would be absolutely awesome. But I think 
when I was pregnant with Patrick, I always just thought I'd be pregnant again. So I didn't really soak up every last second. I hid my pregnancy on Facebook. I hid my pregnancy on Instagram because I don't know, I guess, I don't know. I just what didn't really, I guess at the time it was private. Nothing's private with me anymore. Welcome to my YouTube channel. But I was being super private about it. I didn't know if everything was gonna go right. I think I was kind of in denial that I was actually gonna be a mom. But now I'm kind of like, oh, I really wish I would have shared that because I have no record of it really. I think I have, I have like a handful of pictures of me pregnant. Um, and I'm really sad that I might not get to do that again. Uh, but if that's the case, then okay. But I don't know when we put our pencil down. That's what we, the thing Andy and I have to decide now is how much longer do we try to get pregnant? How many more miscarriages can we take? Because it is draining. Um, emotionally, it's tough on a marriage, if I'm honest. It's tough, um, it's tough for my mental health, his mental health. How much more of this can we take is kind of what we have to decide. How much longer do we want things to go without Patrick having a sibling? How big do we want that gap to be? When do we decide to put our pencils down and start going full throttle into adoption? That's what we have to decide. So for now, I'm just gonna to go to this back to this appointment next week, get the blood work done, see what the results are from that, and then we'll take it from there. The doctor said that I can start trying to get pregnant again as early as May, so that's really good. Um, and we know getting pregnant ain't the problem, so hopefully I could get pregnant again really soon. But hopefully I'll get pregnant with some answers as to what's going on and maybe something that can prevent another miscarriage. We'll see. That's it for today, you guys. Short and sweet. I just wanted to update you to where things are going. If you've been following me on Instagram, which I wish you would, it's at Eileen Vincent. I hinted at a fun little craft video that I'm gonna post later this week around St. Patrick's Day. I'm going into Patrick's school to make a cute little crafty thing with his class and I videoed how I did it because it's super fun and easy and cool to do with kids. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones and please consider subscribing. I post twice a week. It should be Tuesday, Thursday, but it tends to be kind of all over the place. I will see you guys soon. Take care, bye.